Hey, what is going on guys? Silent Ninja 48 here bringing you another Black Ops 3 gameplay. Today what I'm going to have for you is a part 3 of my Road to Prestige series on my channel where I try to prestige as fast as I can and show you guys all the games that I have leveled up in and see how fast I can do it and see how long it takes. So basically what we're going to be playing today is Hardpoint on the map Combine. I think that is what it's called, but don't don't quote me on that. Because I really actually don't know what it's called, but I think it's called Combine, but whatever, but yeah. So, Combine, I think, is a really good map. I think all the maps that I've played so far are really fun. I mean, they have a lot of places where you can use the new dynamics in the game, so that's a good thing. And I really like running on walls and trying to kill people while running on walls. I always try it. I always fail because some people always pick me off. And so, basically what I'm going to be talking to you about is today is how you can level up faster and what are some cheap spots that you can use to actually get more kills. So basically a free spot in this map is actually just to the left of me right here where I'm about to be going to. It's called, it's called the Creek and that's what I call it. It's called the Creek. So as soon as you spawn, you want to run over there and then you want to camp in either side of the map and then wait until someone tries to go through the middle and you can get free picks off of that which is really easy and right now I'm actually in another spot it's the hard point and basically all you do is sit in this little room and you pe pick people off while they're spawning or try to wait for people to move around in the hard point like like this guy's about to be like right there you can get free kills and then you could level up easy easy and fast like that so basically how I use those spots or I just usually just sit in those spots at the start of the map or at the middle of the map or anytime during the map so I can get free kills and pretty much you want to use these spots in the beginning or when the hard points are actually near those spots that's how you can level up faster using cheap spots like this so basically you can get pick people off in the hard point and you get way more points than just one regular kill I think you get 125 points for a uh, hard point kill and just 100 for uh, a um, a regular kill so if you get more kills in the hard point while you're sitting in it you get 125 so that's one kill and one assist so like by then if you get two kills there will be only 200 points so if you get two hard point kills there will be uh, 300 points and then add up that's 100 extra XP for every two kills so that equals up and also while you're trying to get the hard point or trying to secure it you get another bonus 100 points it's either 100 yeah, I think it's 100 so basically if you're in the hard point you secure it and get some hard point kills that's a ton of free experience that you can get and basically what you want to do is try and secure it first and then get kills while you're in the hard point or defending the hard point because you'll get a ton of XP also here's <coughs> sorry Here's one of the other spots. You sit in this room and then you wait for people to come upstairs, like right there. I just got t two, I think I just got one and an assist, but basically, you could just sit there and wait for people to run on that wall and go up, or then you could use awareness like I am and just hear people behind you. So basically, you have two spots where you can get free hard point kills, and they'll just literally rack up the XP. Like, I get a double kill right there and level up. And it's really, really easy to level up in the map, <coughs> in the game mode hard point. Because also while you're controlling the hard point, the time does not move. As you can notice, like in the gameplay, if I'm in the hard point, the time will like stop. So you can get like more, more gameplay while you're in the hard point. So it forces you for your team to get to 250. Or so it will make really close matches. And right now, I think I'm on like an 8 game winning streak. I have a lot of games played and won. So I'm on like an 8 game win streak. Sorry about that technical difficulties as my mic cuts out. But as I was saying, I was on an 8 game winning streak just playing hardpoint. And by the looks of it, I don't think I would ever lose a game in unless like the people I'm playing are against are really good because I have a team that I usually play with I usually play with my brothers and friend and all that we try to do is just get objectives objectives and objectives we always try to go for the win 
and the best thing about that new thing that I told you about how the time stops is it just you just never like out of a chance to like lose a match you always have a chance to win and that's really the best part about that time not stopping when time stopping when you are in the hard point because you always have a chance to win so it's basically not just like downtime that you have in the last 30 seconds when you know you're mathematically eliminated like they always did in black ops 2 if you had a lot of like points in the hard point and then you're securing it you're mathematically eliminated so people just stop playing i think they just stopped that and they did this to help get like more intense gameplay i think that's gonna help out a lot in uh in competitive when they play hardpoint i think it's still in the rotation but hardpoint it's gonna have a lot more close games than blowout games like they had in black ops 2 i remember like optic gaming used to blow out a lot of op opponents in hardpoint and now i think they can just stay and wait for like stay and have closer games because the time doesn't stop when you actually occupy the hard point like the time isn't the time isn't running right now while the other teams in the hard point but while everyone gets out it'll just play on and play on and i think that's a really good thing because you get a lot of more chances to get more kills if you're going negative or get more xp i mean as i said with the hard point kills like right here i just got 125 points and we're basically like winning this game i don't think we were, we were gonna lose but you get a lot more chances but also one thing in this game is the kill streaks and as you can see me using the <laughs> me using the hellstorm missile didn't go out so well i had like i think three dots and i got one kill and basically i just rushed that and i didn't know how to use the how to use the Hellstorm missile, but like the kill streaks, I think, aren't really that good. Like the K9 unit in Black Ops 2, the Orbital VSAT, and the Swarm were like just the best classes that of uh, kill streaks that I've seen. And I mean, I wish they would come back, but I mean, I mean, Treyarch has a new game. I think it's really good, but the complaint is like just the stuns and the lack of like good kill streaks. I mean. I haven't really like not have fun in this game, but if more exciting kill streaks I can get, I mean it would just make it more fun and more enjoyable for getting a lot of kills in a lot of games. So I mean, if they could add kill streaks, I mean I wouldn't mind it. But basically, I'm using the KN44. It's a pretty good gun for using when you are a beginner, and I, I mean I've said it before, it's a really good gun. And I do have the True Vet camo, which is by far the coolest camo I have unlocked. I haven't unlocked really any camos, but the camos in this game are actually super good. I mean, they just outdid themselves with this one. The camos, I mean, I've seen videos about the diamond camos. I mean, they look incredible. They look better than the Black Ops 2 diamond camos. And the new camos on the guns, I don't know what they're called, but it's a bright yellow, but I really actually like enjoy like seeing that on guns and I wish I could get it and then now the emblems and stuff. I mean, it's just a lot of creative things that you could do in Black Ops 3. I mean, you can free run the new mode, the free run mode and stuff. I mean, there's you'd never find yourself bored in Black Ops 3. Like you can make your own guns. I think that's like the gunsmith thing or something, and you make your own guns. And you can make your own paint jobs, so I mean, there's really not anything that's Damn. wrong with Black Ops 3 so far. I mean, I haven't found myself ever bored while playing Black Ops 3. It's just been enjoyable after enjoyable after enjoyable matches. I mean, if you play with friends, I mean, that's even the better part. You get to laugh and <laughs> have fun with your friends and see who can do the best. And basically, this gameplay is coming to an end, so if you guys did enjoy this long commentary and want to see more please leave a like comment and subscribe if you are new and if you have seen my videos if you haven't seen my videos go check them out road to prestige number one and two are already posted so if you guys are new to the channel please subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video